You have a big day today? <clears throat> Indeed. I don't know what I'm doing though. I think I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Is this your uh, biggest day yet? Indeed. How big's your day? Well, I'm gonna attempt to go uh, five hours on the bike ride. First time I've done this in uh, the early season. <clears throat> but, I mean, I did lots of five hour rides, well, long rides and long days in 2018, and obviously that didn't work out very well. So, obviously the uh, long day is only a piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle is doing really good high quality work. And so, to put this day into context, we did run workout four days ago, bike workout three days ago, run workout two days ago, bike workout yesterday and it was a season best bike workout um, now long day tomorrow brick workout next day long run cap it off with a day I like to now call the tempo day where we allow ourselves to <clears throat> do a little bit kind of right around 70.3 race pace otherwise everything's above 70.3 race pace so that's eight days of quality, um, no recovery. And then we take three days or four if necessary to absorb that training. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna have to wrap your head around two things if you wanna be good at Ironman. One, you're gonna be training a lot. And two, you're gonna be training hard, a lot. I mean, if you can't, if you can't wrap your head around that, then you might wanna find a new profession because that's what it takes. And uh, in 2018, I think I, I mean, I certainly trained hard, but I, I didn't do it very smartly. And there was areas that were lacking. And so in 2019, I'm sort of trying to improve upon those areas that were lacking. And it's hard, it's really hard actually. Uh, and that can be very difficult at times. Uh, and 2018 was a good example of that being very difficult to, to tease apart those two things. But, you know, I learned a lot of great lessons in that regard. So, um, 2019 will be a year where hopefully we can, we can apply all these lessons that have been learned over the years. You know, and you mull it over several weeks in advance or even months in advance to training. I've already, I already know what it is. I've already had these blocks written up months ago. And then we get there and things change a little bit because maybe you didn't progress as fast in one area or you progressed faster than you had written up. But that's what coaching is. I mean, that's what you would do if I was coaching another athlete. You know, you gotta do the things that, that you enjoy. It's hard, it's a hard, it's a hard lifestyle. And if you're not enjoying it, well, good luck to you. You ain't gonna be able to do the, the work required to excel if you're not enjoying it, truly enjoying it and, and enjoying the progress and enjoying the process. And so you have to structure things in a way that, that gives you maximum satisfaction and enjoyment. Otherwise, you won't be, you won't be competitive. So, so that's what I'm doing. And, um, but here's the one thing. Long days are important, of course, but keep in mind, and I learned this lesson and I had applied it in 2017, I said it all the time. I learned it at the end of 2016, actually. I mean, the long day, what we're doing it for is mainly neurological. We want to train the muscles and the body to be comfortable. I mean, if you never worked an eight hour day in your life and then you go work an eight hour day, you're gonna be like extremely exhausted by five, six hours into that eight hour work day. But you work eight hour days all the time, then you start to be like, ah, eight hours, no problem. I could probably work a 10 or a 12 hour shift. And so the same is true, of course, of exercise. Um, but that's only one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle is to be able to work really hard too, have really high upper limits. And if you do those long days, 
too hard, then you take away from the ability to do really hard on the quality days. And in 2018, I was definitely doing that. And it was, it was a mistake I'd already made and learned years prior. Um, but this time around, you know what I mean? I, I realized that and I'll correct the mistake. And so this is it's nothing crazy. It's just should be enjoyable, really. It shouldn't really be a chore. The chore is waking up early for me. Otherwise, once I get out there on the bike, I'm gonna enjoy it. I have a nice swim in the afternoon. I'm gonna enjoy tempo swim. And then uh, <clears throat> in the evening, we'll cap it off with an 80 minute run. Nice and nothing crazy. It'll probably be four minutes to 405 per kilometer. Enjoyable chatting type pace. And uh, and that'll be seven, almost seven and a half hours of training. So that, that's, how, that's the plan, that's how it should be. If it's not like that, then you're doing it wrong. And then the real, the real test and the standard is, well, how, how do you do in tomorrow's brick workout? Because that needs to be at minimum 70.3 pace, race pace, minimum, uh, hopefully higher. <clears throat> and if you did this too hard, then you will not be able to do that tomorrow. So, so you always have to keep all that in mind as well. So that, that's the plan for today. And uh, this is kind of a fun day, you know, stop at a couple of gas stations, grab uh, something to drink and uh, something to eat every now and then, and it's kind of a fun little tour of the, of the Tucson area. But this now, you have a big team around you. How do you think that that's helping you this year? I've got a great team of advisors around me. Um, Ivan on the bike, Jerry in the swim. Um, Aaron's probably my uh, my life coach, um, and so so yeah. I mean, they have a feedback mechanism coming in there as well, in with regards to training, because it all spills over into everything else. Jerry can see when I'm overtraining because my swimming is is extremely uh, deteriorated. So, and, and and a lot of these concepts and these ideas. Um, Though Jerry's a swim specific coach, he's he's an over he, he knows a lot about coaching. Coaching is a is something that can be applied in across the board when you have good coaching knowledge. So and Erin's pretty good too. She uh, she gives me for you know prior mistakes. She's starting to to assert uh, the many things she's observed over the years and the mistakes. Um, so I met a couple of coaches, local coaches, who they specialize in in-person coaching and like, you know, lessons and that sort of thing and technical lessons. And so, um, at the end of the day yesterday, after mulling over that feedback, uh, we signed up for the first one-hour session of that. And um, and that's something that's definitely been lacking, kind of the in-person component. Uh, with with swimming being so technical, you need that in-person component. And I, I haven't had that component. I really like it here. I like it in Tucson. The, the bike and the run training is great. So uh, if we can put all three together, have some really good in-person swim coaching, Jerry's program from afar, which is really good swim coaching, uh, and then great bike run terrain and you know great great areas to, to hone different skills, hills, cornering, descending down a mountain uh, then we will truly have created the perfect training grounds and then this will be the, the place to I guess reach the limit uh, that's possible for me so so that that's kind of what we're doing that's kind of the plan that's kind of what we're trying to build and do you plan to attempt to get a run form coach how do you say that yeah, actually, interestingly we already have had uh, some conversations with a really really sought after run coach, run form coach, technique, whatever you want to say. <clears throat> and um, and so that's something that, that should materialize in the next couple of weeks. Obviously I got some big races coming up so that's something you necess don't necessarily want to embark on like two weeks or a week before a race. So it's, it's certainly more something we're thinking of implementing after um, after this first set of races. But Yes, absolutely. The wheels are turning in that regard, and we've already had the conversations, and we're already creating a plan as to how we're going to go about doing that. Um, and this time, you know, and it's not just talk; it's it's another very sought-after professional, uh, well-respected in the industry, 
And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to, to build the team with the best people in their fields so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel, so that we don't have to learn a lifetime's worth of knowledge. Uh, and so that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, and, and, and hopefully we'll have something in place in that regard in the next couple of weeks. Lionel, 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 TM, TMZ News. What Iron Man are you racing, TMZ News? <sighs> Which Iron Man are you racing this year? Whoever one that they give good trips out at. Which one's that? Iron Man, get the f out of the way, media. <laughs> <laughs>